It would have been the first in the nation single payer universal health care in California, but tonight Democrats could not unify behind the bill. KCAL 9 political reporter Tom Waite is here live now to explain. Tom. Hi, Juan. Well, it would have been a massive overhaul to the health care system. Private insurance in the state gone, replaced by only one health insurance plan run by the state with coverage for everyone. The price tag, though, more than $300 billion, but in the end, it turned out to be too expensive and too controversial for lawmakers to agree on. With Monday's assembly session gaveled out, so were hopes of passing a bill intended to deliver universal health care in California, at least for this year. The author of the bill, Northern California State Assemblyman Ash Kalra, seen here Monday, did not bring the legislation to the floor for a vote, saying it was clear it did not have the votes necessary to pass. There were so many questions about financing. Dr. Jennifer Cryer is an assistant professor of political science at USC. Where the money would come from, there were different models about financing, different models about how the economic um, situation would support that financing, and that created a lot of confusion and discomfort. The fallout was immediate, with the Democratic Speaker of the Assembly releasing a statement saying the shortage of votes needed to pass this bill out of the Assembly indicates the immense difficulty of implementing single-payer health care in California. Nevertheless, I'm deeply disappointed that the author did not bring this bill up for a vote today. We often think about things vis-a-vis -vis party, like, oh, they're all the same party, so they're on the same page. That's not the case. For the bill in question to become law this year, the democratically controlled assembly needed to approve it by the end of day. The bill is separate from the one proposed by Governor Gavin Newsom, who has said unlike the assembly bill, his plan does not require a tax increase. Republicans were quick to pounce on Democrats' failure to advance the bill. Once the uh, public was educated on exactly what this bill would do, eviscerating their health care, eliminating Medi Medicare for seniors, raising taxes by $163 billion, and reducing access to care. Assemblyman Calra said after Monday's session, his bill was the victim of misinformation from those who stand to profit from the state's current health care system. Even if it had cleared the legislature, voters would have needed to approve the tax increase, meaning that even though Democrats are firmly in control of the Assembly and Senate, passing a bill like health care reform is a monumental challenge. It's not just that you have a majority and that majority facilitates your ends and you get what you want. You still need to make sure that that majority is all on the same page, which was not the case here. And you also need to make sure that um, the public is on the same page, which is not the case here. Lawmakers have tried to pass universal health care in the past. In 1994, voters shot down a plan to replace private health insurance. And in 2017, a single-payer plan cleared the state Senate, but it never made it to the governor's office. Pat, back to you.